Laracast, great step-by-step -step view. If you have about three hours, uh, watch it. You will know view inside and out. Um, so let's start off with, I'll just, I'm gonna go through a lot of stuff and then I'll show you the app. Uh, so this is basically the first uh, app.view which you have. Very simple, very short as you can see. I love it. Less code, better. This is what it looks like in React. And looks like in React. And that's it. So it's double the size in React as opposed to Vue. Vue is a lot smaller, it's more compressed, it does a lot of the stuff for you, which I love. I'm very lazy. The more that the software and the program does for me, the better. Um, Vue, like Angular, has directives. So it's very HTML based. You can throw in a lot of stuff. It does a lot of the syntax syntactic sugar for you. You can do very simple uh, JavaScript stuff in there. This is what it would look like in React, for example, if you were trying to do an on-click, for example. This is directly from React. With Vue, you would have something like Vue on. You just put that into your HTML template and it does it for you. It's simple. There's no workaround, no setting state, no creating functions. It does a lot of it for you. Um, Vue is also two-way two -way data binding, which I love. Simplifies a lot of the stuff for you. Um, it moves information back and forth. It's very simplistic. React, on the other hand, is one-way data binding. It's, I hate it. It's annoying. I have to do a lot more work for it. I create a lot more errors because my spelling sucks. So with Vue and data binding, it's great. Um, so this is what you have, again, a React component. Handle the state, change the state. With Vue, you don't have that. You just use a directive like vbind or von, and it takes it for you. So this is directly from the docs. The Vue docs are amazing. They're very simple to use, and they have real life examples. So where it says edit me, if you type it in there, you will actually see message is, and it will give you the message for you. This is the code that you need. In React, you have to do the set state, I'm sorry, uh, the set state, the change state, the back and forth. You don't need that with Vue. You just put in vmodel, the message, and right there you'll see those mustaches. That's also a great thing that Vue took and created was templating. So if you hate templates, sucks for you. I love templates, they're great. You put the info in there, it's there for you. Again, less work gets the job done for me. So templating, unlike React, Vue has templating. It's very simple. You just paste it into your HTML document and it shows up. It renders it for you. Event handling. Um, so event handling, very simple also. With the directive V on, you call it whatever you want it as in greet and you inject it into your HTML, it runs the code for you. So you see where it says the data and the methods, and I'll show you in the app, the way they break it down is data separate from methods. So when you're looking at a file, and the thing with Vue is some of you might not like, in one component you'll have your JavaScript, you'll have your CSS, and you'll have your HTML in it. Some of you are gonna hate it. I think it's great, because if you're working with a code base of thousands and hundreds of lines and you have to jump back and forth, you're gonna get lost. With Vue being able to compile that all into one template, it's great. Um, but with the event handlers, you just put in your greet function and then you inject it into your HTML and it does it for you. Very simple. Counter, same thing. Um, this is what it looks like in React. A lot of code, a lot of, personally for me, unnecessary writing. Louder? I'm sorry. This is my first time. Ah, uh, and I think that's it. So I'm gonna switch over right now to the app. So right here is the React one. This right here is the view. Um, very simple. I liked it, I didn't like it. I hovered over it. Very simple, double click on the name, it shows up. This is the same thing in view. I liked it, 
I hovered over the puppies, yay puppies, and I clicked on them. But now let's look at the code. So compared to your React, and it does it for you. This is my whole code base. It's 159 lines done in Vue with CSS and JavaScript, as opposed to React where it's 66 here, and it just keeps going. Now, one thing that's really cool, like I said, those V directives right here, V bind. And we plug in the source right there. So unlike React where you're using JSX, here you're using pure HTML. You're using HTML templating, which we're all familiar with, which we love to use, personally me. Um, and then you put in, you inject your directives. You have your if else statement right here. Very simple. Um, mouse over. So this is your mouse over. As opposed to if we would go into React, is this right here. You gotta pass over the pop props. You gotta change it here. You gotta move it here. React, I'm sorry, view takes care of that for me. It speeds everything up. Very similar to Rails. It speeds everything up. It does a lot of that stuff for you. But this is what I was talking about, where in that same file I have my JavaScript and I have my styling. It can get really confusing. Some of you might hate it. Personally, for me, I like it. It's very simplistic. It gives me the information that I need to edit it right then and there and then move on. Um, that's basically it. Yeah, questions? Yes? Um, forgive me if I'm missing something obvious, but is, is it like if an app is bigger, is it component based? Or like how, how are files split up into modules when it gets larger? So, if you put the question in the microphone. so the question was, if it's a large file, is it component based? Yes, you can make anything component based, whether you're using React or Vue. The beauty about Vue is you can, your components are much smaller and you're throwing in what you need for that component into that file. So with React, you would have a separate file for your CSS. In Vue, you don't. You do it all in one. Your JavaScript is all in one. It's in one file, so you're able to track it a lot better and a lot easier as opposed to using it in React where it's all over the place. On top of that, the syntax in the code is a lot shorter in Vue as compared to React. That's it. Thank you very much, guys.